Psalms 85, 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. And this is, praise the Most High, Yahweh Shai. This is another Sabbath day, and we come out week in and week out just to bring out the truth out of the Bible. John 7, 17 through 18. 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 If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. You know, the, the funny part about the people that tell us to shut up, that's in the Bible too. God said those that despise this, you're not despising no man, but you're despising God that gives us his Holy Spirit. That's who you despise. The one that created the, one that created the heavens and the earth. Go ahead. Finish up. Yes, Go ahead. Go ahead. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. But if any, if any man or woman is, will do God's will, then they're going to know of the doctrine. If anybody's going to do God's will, they'll know of the doctrine. Go ahead. Whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Because we're not speaking our own words. We're going we're gonna to tell you what's said of the Most High God. We're not going to tell you what's said the imaginations of our hearts like you guys are accustomed to in this society we're going to tell you what saith the most high god the god of abraham isaac and jacob that's all you're going to get go ahead he that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory and all those that speak of their self you're doing this for your own vain glory you're not doing this for your for god you're doing it for your own vain glory read Did the, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Because, see, the Christ, he was sent into the world by, by his father, and he came to, to give testimony of the truth. But see, everybody here, you're just so accustomed to hearing lies every single day in this society. But that's not what you're going to get when we're out here. All you're going to get is the truth from, from the Most High God. Uh, Jan 7 and 24. John 7, verse 24. Verse 24, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. And see, a lot of people, they, they always want to judge according to their eyes and to the appearance of what they see. But Christ said you shouldn't judge according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. But you guys, you're always on this skin game. This is what you've done all through time. And this is why the Most High God is punishing you. You're getting ready to get that nuclear destruction that's appointed to all the wicked in this Bible. Um, John 7, 37 to 38. Verse 30. John 7, 37 to 38. Verse 37 through 38. If the, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Hamashiach stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. See, Christ said, He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, he said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But see, you have to be doing this the way the scriptures have said, not the way you want to do it yourself and make your own righteousness like you've done in the society, lying on Christ himself, putting Caesar Bourget up in all those churches. Go ahead. John 7 and 7. John 7 and 7. Verse 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that he, the works thereof are evil. See, this is why they hated Christ, because Christ testified of all the evil things that were going on in the world. That's why you guys hate when we come out, because we're bringing out the truth like Christ brought, it, brought the truth out. This is why you hate when we come out here. But this is why Christ came into the world, and that was to give testimony of the truth. John uh, 15, 17 through 21. John 15, 17 through 21. John 15, 17 through 21. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. See, this is why we're not surprised at how you guys treat us, because Christ already left this in the Gospel of John. He says, if the world hates you, know that it hated me before it hated you. We know why you guys hate us, because Christ chose us from the foundation of the world. This is why you guys hate us so much. Read. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, 
the world would love us all. See, if we were part of this wicked old world right here, then you guys would love us as your own. But, but because he chose us out of the world, this is why you guys hate us so much. Because Christ chose us out of this wicked world. But because ye are not of the world, uh, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. And see, he, got, he has it all documented in the Holy Scriptures. Why you guys have this perpetual hatred towards the people of God. But I can guarantee you, it's not going unpunished. All these things you're doing to the Israelites, because that's who we are. We are the Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. What? Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. See, Christ, he left this message. He left this for us. He said, the, the servant is not greater than his Lord. Read. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. He said, if they persecuted him, they will also persecute us. This is why we go through all this perpetual hatred, the last hired, the first fired. We know why you guys racially profile us. God has everything in the Holy Scriptures. But I can guarantee you, you guys are not going unpunished. You get ready to get that nuclear destruction that he has appointed to all the wicked people. Read. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But you're not going to keep Christ's sayings because you guys like to go with lies and deceits. But there was no guile in Christ's mouth. Christ told nothing but the truth. You guys love guile. You guys love lies and deceits. Go ahead. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake because they know not him that sent me. And this is why you guys do all these wicked things because you don't know God. You guys don't know, not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You guys are worshiping idols. Caesar Borger, the one Leonardo da Vinci, and Michael Angelo painted. That's an idol, and he's getting ready to crush all these idols. Go ahead, uh, Jan, or Isaiah 66, 1 through 5. Isaiah 66, 1 through 5. Isaiah 66, 1-5. Isaiah 66, 1-5. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. So this is Christ speaking through the prophet Isaiah. He said, heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? So he said, where is the house that you build unto me? Read. And where is the place of my rest? And now he said, where is the place of my rest? Read. For all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. Because see, you guys have gotten mixed up. See, it's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that made all these things. No man made this, but you guys have gotten too puffed up with this pride. And guess what? Pride comes before the fall. You guys are going down. The Most High doesn't lie. That's a guarantee. This place is almost out of here. Free. Saith the Lord, but to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit. He's talking about the ones that have humility. He's going to look to the man that, that is humble, that has humility, a contrite spirit. You guys don't have that because you guys are too puffed up with this pride. And trembleth at my word. And you guys don't fear the Most High God. You hate him. This is why you continue on doing all this wickedness this very hour. This is the Lord's Sabbath day. He said to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. He that killed an ox is as if he slew a man, and he that sacrificed a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offered an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yeah, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighted in their abomination. See, you guys have chosen your own ways. See, that's why he's, he's got all this documented. And he said, your soul delight in your abominations. You guys love all these filthy, wicked acts that you continue to do. But I can guarantee you it's not going unpunished. Read on. I will also choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. And now he's choosing, he's leaving you guys stuck in those reprobate minds. Now he's leaving you stuck on stupid because you don't want to listen to what he says in this Bible. So he's going he's gonna to choose all your delusions now and leave you in that reprobate mind now. Read. Because when I call... None did answer. Because every time we come out, that's the most high God calling, but nobody answers. Read. When I speak, none did hear. And when he speaks, nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. He says, you made your heart as an adamant stone, and you're just stiff-necked. Read. 
but did e but they did evil before mine eyes. And you just continue to do evil before his eyes. See, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. And he said he's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth. You're not getting away from what you're doing here on the Lord's Sabbath day. This is the Lord's Sabbath day. He said to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. No buy, selling, or trading. But you guys continue on even until this very hour. Go ahead. And chose that in which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy. See, and, they now, be, oh, go ahead. and they shall be ashamed. See, oh, he's talking about the, our brethren that hated us and cast us out. This is going back to Isaac and Rebekah, how Esau, you hated your brother Jacob all through time. But it's going to be to your shame, the Most High God said. You're not getting away for all the stuff that you've done to us. Look Psalms 24 verse 15, or no, Matthew 23, 27 through 29. Matthew 23, 27 to 29. Go ahead. Matthew 23. Matthew 23, 27 through 29. Woe well, unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within, full of dead men's bones. So this was Christ addressing the Pharisees and the scribes. He said, he said, destruction unto you, you Pharisees, because on the outside you guys appear righteous to men. You guys are always smiling in people's faces, saying, oh, I love you. Oh, all my best friends are black. All those lies you continue on every day. But he said, but inside, you're like whited sepulchers. You're like dead man's bones. Christ was letting the people have it here because he knows what's in everybody's heart. He tried up the reins and the hearts. And nobody is getting away for these wicked thoughts that you got going on in your mind. Go ahead. And of all uncleanness, even so, you are also outwardly appear righteous unto men. But within, you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. But see, you're really full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Out on the outside, you appear righteous. You guys are always smiling and dissimilar at the lips, telling everybody what they want to hear. But inside, you guys are just like dead man's bones. Christ was letting the people have it here. Is that it? Even so, ye... Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because he built the tombs of the prophets and garnished the sepulchres of the righteous. And then uh, all you've done is went after the people of God all through time. But you're, you're not getting away for all your transgressions. You guys are going to have to pay for all your iniquities. The Most High has been watching since ancient of days, and nobody is getting away for what they've done here in the body. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, Psalm 24 and 15. Psalms 24, verse 15. Psalms 24, verse 15. Psalms 24, verse 15. There is no Psalms. 24, I mean, 1 through 5, my bad. 1 through 5. 1 through 5. Psalms 24, 1 through 5. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? So now the Most High God is saying, he's letting you guys know who's going to ascend into the holy hill, and who's going to stand in that holy place. He's going to tell you. Read. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. All those that have clean hands and a pure heart. He knows about these wicked thoughts that's going on in your wicked minds. Always plotting and thinking all this wickedness. Plotting these unrighteous, de always plotting these unrighteous decrees. All these ill dealings. The Most High God knows all about it. Nobody's getting away for what they're, even for their wicked thoughts that's going on in their minds. Who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Because he already knows. He knows who has the, the, the pure, the pure, how you doing, brother? He knows who has that pure heart and, and, cl and clean hands. Talking about... Cl 
hands that don't go and shed innocent blood on the earth. All the people that's killing all these people, the Most High God has got your number. You're not getting away. Go to Zephaniah real quick. Let's see what he said through the prophet Zephaniah. What he's going to do to all the ones that like to go and shed the innocent blood on the earth. Let's see what the Most High said. You know, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Zephaniah 3 verse 8. Go ahead. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. This is the Most High God speaking through Zephaniah. He said, wait ye upon me to the day that I rise up to the prey. See, the Most High God, he's going to be doing some hunting on some people on this earth. Let's see what he's going to do. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. This is the Most High God's determination is to gather all the wicked nations together so that he can kill them. This is what God's determination is. With that nuclear destruction, he's going to gather them all together over in the valley of Jehoshaphat. And then he's going to kill all the wicked nations. Go ahead. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured by, with the fire of my jealousy. He said all the earth is going to be devoured with the fire, with that nuclear fire of his jealousy. This is what his determination is. You guys aren't getting away for nothing you've done here to God's people. This judgment is on the way. Go ahead. Go back to um, uh, John 5 and 31. John 5 verse 31. John 5 verse 31. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. See, Christ said if he was bearing witness of his, himself, his witness was not true. He wasn't, see, Christ didn't do anything for no vain glory. Christ was being obedient. He was obedient to the death, even to the death of the cross, which it really was a spike, but you guys, but you guys think it was a cross. Go ahead. Is that it? Uh, Jan 5 and 34. Verse 34, but I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say that ye might be saved. But he, Christ wasn't trying to get approval of man. He was doing this that you might be saved. But see, a lot of people, you don't want it. You don't want salvation. What you want, he said, death is going to be chosen rather than life because you want to continue doing all this wicked stuff that he hates in this society. Is that it? Beyond 5, 41 through 44. John 5, 41 through 44. Verse 41 through 44. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. See, see, Christ wasn't trying to receive honor from no man, but he knew every man. He knew every man's heart. And he knew that you didn't have the love of God in your heart. Because if you had the love of God in your heart, you wouldn't be doing all these wicked things that he hates. Go ahead. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. Because Christ came in his Father's name, but nobody wanted to receive him. You guys wanted to crucify him. That's what you did to Christ, but I can guarantee you it's not going unpunished. He's going to have the last laugh, and I can guarantee you that. Go ahead. If another shall come in his name, his own name, him ye shall receive. If somebody comes in their own name for their own vainglory, you guys will receive that person, but you didn't want to receive the one who alone, he, he came and he just spoke about the Most High God himself. He wasn't trying to get no vain glory. You guys don't want that though. You guys want the vain glory. You want to be exalted above your, above everybody. This is what you guys want. Go ahead. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? But see, you don't want to receive the honor that comes from God only. You guys want to get that glory and want to be exalted and puff, put, you've puffed yourselves up in this society and that's why you're getting punished. This is why that those pestilence, the corona, that's not going away. The Most High is the one that's sending the plagues. He's going to take care of all of his adversaries, every single one of them on the planet. He's getting rid of them. Philippians 2, 3 through 11. Philippians 2, 3 to 11. 3 through 11. Philippians 2, 3 through 11. Go ahead. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Oh, he said, th these were commandments. He said, let nothing be done with strife or vain glory. But this is what you guys like to do here, is do everything for vain glory. Always, oh, I, I, I. It's always about yourself. Read. 
but but in lowliness of mind. He said, but in humility of mind. This is what loneliness is. He said, in humility of mind. Read. Let each esteem other better than themselves. And you should put the interests of others better than yourself. But you guys don't do that. It's always about what you got and what you're going to get with all this carnal stuff that he